Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up the Wi-Fi connection on your EasyPi R4 Plus kit. So, let's get to it. If you have our EasyPi R4 Plus kit, you may want to use this on Wi-Fi because you don't have an Ethernet drop next to your printer. Luckily, this little guy has 802.11 AC wireless that supports both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And unlike the previous versions that had the Pi 4 boards, the Wi-Fi range and speeds are really good on these. Now, since these are using a different software to run the system, we're gonna actually have to set this up through what's called an SSH connection. Now, this may sound complicated, but this is just a program you put on your computer that's free to download, and we're gonna connect into the remote terminal of this and run a command. Once we have the terminal open and run that command, it'll have a nice interface where we can select our Wi-Fi network, enter our password in, and it'll connect. Once it's connected to the Wi-Fi, we can go ahead and shut it down, which is really easy because these have a power button on them, and then move it to the location where it's gonna live. Because of this, we also include an ethernet cable just in case you don't have one. So for the initial Wi-Fi setup, we're gonna bring this over to our router or network switch, wherever you have a wired connection, connect the ethernet cable to the ethernet port, plug the power in and boot this up. We're then gonna look for it on our network using a program called Advanced IP Scanner to get its IP address. And then after that, we can connect in and do the Wi-Fi setup. Once the Wi-Fi setup is done, you can move it wherever you have Wi-Fi coverage. I have the network cable plugged into my router. I'm gonna plug this into the LAN port on my EasyPi. I'm gonna take the USB-C end of my power adapter and plug it into the power port on the EasyPi kit. And if you have the adapter with the switch, you'll want to turn the switch on if you don't see the power light turn on. So I'm going to press the switch on mine. You'll see the light come on and give it about a minute to boot up. After about 30 seconds, you'll see the little activity light flash. This means it's booting up and we can go ahead and look for it on the network. You also may want to check to see if you have a link light. You can see here my network light is flashing, which means my network connection is working. So let's go back to the computer. So on my computer here, you see I have advanced IP scanner loaded and I have PuTTY loaded. If you don't have these programs already, there's links and downloads to them on the EasyPi Wi-Fi setup page. It's linked below in the video description. Now, what I'm gonna do is make sure my IP address range here is correct. I know my network is 172.16.21.0. Um, so this is the correct range. Your address will probably be different. Most routers will use like a 192.168.0 or 192.168.2. The program will pull up the default subnet that your computer's on. I'm gonna go ahead and let this scan. And what we're gonna be looking for in the name field here is Octoprint. This will show up on your network as Octoprint for the default host name. So now that the scan's finished, I can type Octoprint. And as you can see here, our EasyPi R4 is on the .88 address. So 172.16.21.88. You can also click this little arrow here and you can see it has the Octoprint login page up. But we're not gonna go to that. We just want the IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in here on PuTTY and we're gonna leave the default port of 22 and then we're going to hit open. On the first time connecting over SSH, it's going to give you a security alert about the host key. You can go ahead and hit accept and then the default login is just PI and then the password is capital EZ capital P1 dot SSH and this is also in our documentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and then we're gonna type NMTUI and press enter again. At this point, it's gonna bring up the network manager. I'm gonna use my arrow keys to move down to activate a connection. And you can see here, it's already scanned and it sees a couple of networks. Now my network here that I'm gonna connect this to is HackNet. And you can see here, I can use my arrow keys to move up and down. If I go right, it'll go over to these menu options but I wanna connect this to my SSID called HackNet, so I'm going to make sure it's highlighted, hit enter, and now I'm gonna type my Wi-Fi password in. Hackerman. And if I typed it correct, I can hit enter, and it's going to try to connect to the network. If you successfully entered the password and it is correct, you can see here it will now show a little asterisk next to the network. 
So at this point, it's connected to the Wi-Fi and our wired network. I'm gonna go and hit the right arrow key and then down to go to back. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit quit. At this point, it's connected to the network. Now, if you want to see the IP address that's on the Wi-Fi, you can type IPADDR show. And if we look here, we're gonna look for the WLAN interface. And sometimes it's easier to just expand this. And if you do it again, it'll be a little more organized. But you can see here, the Wi-Fi IP address is now 172.16.21.173. So if you remember and you look here, our wired connection is on the .88, .88 being the last octet here. So if I type in the wired IP address, we should get the Octoprint interface. In this case, it's asking me to log in. But if I go ahead and just replace this with a .173, which is the Wi-Fi address, it will also come up. So we can confirm that this is working. At this point, we can go ahead and exit the session. We can just type exit and it will go ahead and close the session. Now, if I press the power button on the back of the Pi, I'm just gonna press it really quick. You can see here the server went offline and now it's shutting down. Once this is ready to be disconnected, the green light will shut off on the Pi board. So if you look here, the power lights off so I can go ahead and disconnect this and disconnect the ethernet. And now this is ready to be used on Wi-Fi. So now I have this set up to connect to my wireless. I can move this anywhere in my house where I actually have wireless coverage and hook my printer up to it. So you just give this power, plug your printer into the USB port, and now you can print. I don't have to worry about running back and forth to the printer for SD cards. And I don't even have to worry about running a network cable to it because the Wi-Fi in these are actually really nice. These new boards have a dedicated antenna that's actually installed in the rear of the case here. And because these are a plastic case, they get really good signal. If for some reason you're still having trouble setting the Wi-Fi up and need help, tech support is included when you purchase the kits from us and you can go to our website and click the contact us link at the top of the page or just go to contactus.th3dstudio.com and we'll be able to give you a hand including setting up a remote session where we can connect into your computer and give you a hand setting up the Wi-Fi really quick. I hope you guys enjoy these pie kits and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you again for all you guys support and as always, happy wireless printing.